Good day everyone, so I assume you've all watched the Genshin Impact 3.3 livestream. I'm going to be critiquing this TCG game and why I think it is actually pretty bad for Genshin Impact. So this is my core argument. TCG itself is a separate game mode to that of Genshin Impact. It is devolved from the core fundamentals of what makes Genshin Impact an action RPG. In the world of Teyvat, as you can see, represented by, by my big blue square, you've got 3D characters, 3D models, and the core premise is exploration, character building for combat purposes, and story. These are the three things Teyvat is known for. We have limited time events in the world of Teyvat where we use our skills and characters in some sort of mini games we have something like the Genshin Impact teapot which means that as you progress in Genshin Impact your progression is also carried over in a certain sense or it leans into the entire teapot system the entire teapot system itself is a subset of the world of Teyvat and obviously the spiral abyss as you can see by the little star is ultimately the end game that you need to sort of strive for once your account is progressed far enough. So what's the problem with TCG? The big problem for me is that all of this is the void of the core of the game. Any progress you make in your account, any money that you've spent in Genshin Impact, any time you've spent in Genshin Impact means nothing for TCG because it's a new system that you have to sort of interact with since like well all over again. This to me is highly, highly problematic. This is unlike the teapot where whatever you do, whatever chest you open, gives you more materials for your teapot. The other problem I have is that the TCG game in and of itself runs, runs kind of counter to the good fundamentals of card building games. Now, I come from a background of playing Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering. There's a lot of card games I've played in my entire life. And the key or the beautiful thing about card games is that you always Want to have a strategy for your deck and you also want to make sure that your deck building is consistent and it's can so in other words if you're playing a deck and you're pulling out cards and you don't have a good hand at least that hand must still be usable this was the beauty of deck building with good and with bad shuffling luck you always had some sort of plan some sort of strategy and it also then involved the opponent's own rng but genshin impact takes this a step further they introduce another rng into the whole game which is like the entire stupid like dice mechanics and so on this to me can make games feel like running sort of it can almost feel like the games are not in your hand and it's more like towards the rng of oh did i get some good pyro or like sort of omni dice little rolls it's it's just really really bad the other thing is it's also like lazy content basically all tcg content will now be seen as like genshin content designing dynamic skins is sort of i think a lazy way to or like route to giving us skins which could have instead been used for our 3d characters it's really bad and then finally of course replayability i mean just give it a month and people will be bored yeah that's what i have to say about this game mode thanks for watching cheers